Hey beautiful, welcome back to the Irresistible Me YouTube channel. I am Priscilla Laura and I am back with my second of three um, hairstyling videos showing you guys how to style some of the new Irresistible Me hair accessories. So for today I'm going to be using three of the accessories. I'm going to be using the tiara and I will have the exact name of the style written in text somewhere in the video but I'm going to be using the tiara. I'm also going to be using the hair comb. And I am also going to be using the bobby pin. So these are the three accessories that I'm going to show you guys how to style. And we're actually going to do two really super duper quick and easy updos. Updos used to scare me and intimidate me. But then I realized how simple it can be to just throw it up and make it look really nice and professional. So I'm going to show you guys two of my go-to updos. And I think they're awesome for the holiday season. If you want something up and out of your face, a little bit more elegant, um, this is definitely the way to go and once you see how easy they are to do you are gonna be like oh my god I can totally do that so speaking of the holiday season I also wanted to mention that irresistible me is gonna have a whole bunch of Black Friday and Cyber Monday and holiday season discounts and specials going on I did mention them in detail in the first video so I'll just pop them in in text in this video so if you guys need to remember what the details and what the discounts are then you have that information all right guys so without further ado I am going to go ahead and jump into the two hairs styles for this video don't forget to check out the first video for three hairstyles using three different accessories and also come over to my channel and stop by say hi and subscribe if you guys would like and let's jump right into the looks I'm starting all the looks with my hair blow dried but the ends are curled and for the first updo I'm just gonna go ahead and figure out where I want my side part and part my hair then I'm gonna take the tiara and just place it in place just to kind of get an idea of where it's gonna go then you can go ahead and take the tiara off for now and just grab the top half of your hair and kind of clip it out of the way at the top of your head I'm going to be using some dry shampoo. This one is by Style Sexy Hair on that lower half of hair. And then a um, fine tooth comb just to slightly give it a rough tease. This is just going to help add more volume down there. Once it's all kind of teased up, and I'm teasing all throughout, not just by the root, but I'm concentrating by the root. Then I'm going to grab two of my two clip wefts um, extensions to add more volume. And I'm going to be clipping these on top of each other and then clipping it onto my hair. These are the 24 inch um, Silky Touch by Irresistible Me. And they are in chocolate brown, I believe. And um, they're just going to help add more volume to my hair. And then I'm going to grab an elastic and just like create a ponytail with all the extensions and that bottom section of my hair all together. Then I'm going to take the ponytail section and just kind of fluff it up into a big messy bun and with another elastic I'm going to secure the bun in place. Now is when you're going to need a lot of bobby pins. So essentially I'm just going to open up and flatten down this messy bun so that it's kind of flat against my hair and use bobby pins all around the edges just to secure it in place. It is a little bit hard to see because my hair is dark um, but basically I'm just securing it to my head and opening it up so it can look nice and big and voluminous as well. Now it's time to take down the top portion of your hair and you're going to go ahead and create a second ponytail above that lower bun that you did with this top section of hair as well. Um, once you have the ponytail you can kind of fix the area of hair around your face and just make sure it's sitting nicely and framing your face nicely. But once that's done you're going to take your fingers and kind of open up a hole above the elastic of this top ponytail. And then just take the remain the whole entire rest of the ponytail and flip it in through the hole and down and out. So it's going to create a very nice twist by doing this. Then you're just going to go ahead and do the same thing we did on the bottom. So scrunch it up into a messy bun and start securing it in place with an elastic if you want or just with a whole bunch of bobby pins. Um, I like to use the elastic because it helps kind of initially hold everything in place and then just start bobby pinning it so it's big and voluminous but not sticking out from your head you want it kind of stuck against your head if that makes any sense but just nice and big and messy and curly and then you're going to go ahead and grab the tiara and place it in place wherever you want 
And then I like to take some little flyaway wispy hairs from the side of my face just to frame the side of my face, but that's completely optional. And this is the completed first um, really gorgeous updo. I actually love this one. It's also pretty for like a sweet 16 or anything like that as well. So that's just, or like prom, that's just another option. And let's move on to the next hairstyle. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to be trying it out with both of these accessories. So I'm just combing my hair to the back, no extensions for this look. And I'm going to be taking two side, the two front sections of my hair, so leaving the middle down. Um, here you can kind of see how I'm dividing it. I'm doing it this way just so you guys can kind of see. But just take the front of your hair into a ponytail, the two front side sections, but leave the middle not part of the ponytail. Then once you have that secured with an elastic, you're going to take another elastic and create a second ponytail, including the first one and the entire rest of your hair a little bit down. Then we're going to create an opening above the first ponytail like we did the first time and pull the rest of the ponytail through to create that nice twist. But we're not going to pull it all the way through this time. So it's not going to be taunt. It's going to have like a little bit of a roll or a bump or a bun, however you want to describe it. And just kind of leave that. And then with the rest of the ponytail that's sticking down, you're going to roll that on top of the first bun as well. Now it's time to grab a whole bunch of bobby pins again and just pin around the outer circles but on the part that's closer to your head just so that they're really concealed and you're going to essentially be pinning the hair down to your head again. Make sure that your loopy bun is going to stay in place and then just to show you the accessories with the pin you can either place it above your ear over here or in the back a little bit closer to the bun but I personally love the comb for this look so I'm just going to take that and just comb it right in to the bun on top right in the center and I am going to notice that I have a piece hanging out right there and grab some bobby pins and pin that back in where it goes. So here is the completed look guys. I hope you enjoy these two really quick and simple hairstyles and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and come over and check me out and subscribe there as well. Love you guys. Bye.